Good evening. It's 9 p.m. here in Seoul. Thank you for joining us on Arirang News. We start this evening with the damage from the torrential rain here in South Korea. The number of people either dead or missing is climbing now up to at least 50. This with another downpour expected for the weekend. Choi Min-jung has the latest. At least 44 people have been killed and six are still missing following the heavy downpours in South Korea. And as of 6 p.m. Tuesday, the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters data shows that 35 have been injured, with over 13,000 having had to evacuate their homes. On Tuesday, three more bodies of those reported missing were found in Yecheongun County, Gyeongsangbuk-do province. A man in his 60s who went missing after a landslide was found dead on Tuesday afternoon. The body of a woman in her 70s was also found under a pile of trees, and another woman in her 60s who went missing after being swept by rain in a car was also found dead on the same day. Yecheongun County has been one of the regions hit hard by heavy rain and landslides. For a bit of respite, the rain is expected to stop from Wednesday through Friday. However, the country is expecting to see another downpour over the weekend. People in the capital region, Chungcheongbuk-do province and Gangwon-do province should keep watch as rain is forecast to pound the areas. Meanwhile, search and rescue efforts at the site of the flooded underpass in Osong in Cheongju City, Chungcheongbuk-do province came to an end on Monday night. The Office for Government Policy Coordination has started an investigation to determine the cause of the tragic incident that killed 14 people. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.